excited because today I'm giving you my full review of the New Balance 1080 V10. Let's go. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Does it sound like fun? You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. I dare you to be wild. being tortured up the hills. I was really excited to get my hands on this shoe because I've tried a bunch of New Balance shoes in the past, but I've never tried a 1080 before. I heard that the V9 really wasn't so great, but with the introduction of Fresh Film X, I knew that I had to get my hands on this and see what it was all about. And it doesn't hurt that it is a beautiful looking shoe. Beautiful. So if you're unfamiliar with how I kind of go through my full reviews, I give you the specs. Then I talk about the upper, the midsole, the outsole, and then I kind of give you my conclusion and I rate it out of five stars. So if it's the best shoe that I've ever put on my foot and I just, I never need another shoe as long as I live, it's gonna be five stars. But if it's the worst shoe that I've ever tried and it's literally trash and a disgrace to the running society, then it's gonna be one star. That's a little harsh, but we're honest here. At the end of the review, I'll throw up a screen with the pros and the cons so you can kind of get a visual idea of what I like and dislike about this shoe. So let's get into the specs of the 1080 V10. This shoe is eight ounces for a women's size eight. It has an eight millimeter drop with 29 millimeters in the heel and 21 in the forefoot. And for me, I will say this shoe does run true to size. New Balance is using what I believe is a new technology from them called HypoKnit. As the name suggests, this is a knit construction in the toe box area, and as we move back to the forefoot of this shoe, it kind of gets a little stiffer and thicker uh, for, I guess, a little more stability in that area. Kind of holds you to the platform better, your foot's not going to be sliding around, so you need a little more rigidity right here in the forefoot. At first I was a little worried about the edges of this shoe under the ankle and that it would cause irritation and maybe some cuts even, but I'm happy to report that on all of my runs I didn't even really feel this part of the shoe, so it really was a non-issue for me. It's a snug but forgiving fit that remains that way as you put more miles in the shoe. And that's really all we can ask for, right? I'm really not a huge knit upper gal, but this one takes the trophy as maybe the best knit upper that I've tried thus far. Another area that I was concerned about at first was this heel. New Balance is calling it the ultra heel. I'm calling it the wrinkly brain heel. To me, this looks like a wrinkly brain. Like I said in my first Run Impressions video, when I first put this shoe on, it was really noticeable and present in the back of my heel area, just walking around the house. And I was concerned that it might cause some discomfort while I was actually running. But after a hundred or so miles, I can tell you that I really haven't felt it at all, thankfully. And it was another thing that ended up really not being a problem. I'm not sure why New Balance decided to construct the heel in this way, but I mean, uh, I guess it's fine. It, it would have also been fine with just a standard heel, but hey, whatever. And before we move on from the upper, I will mention that the laces stay tied on all of my runs, and the tongue is padded, but not overly so, and it feels super comfortable against your foot. So overall, the upper on this shoe is really premium and does the job exactly how it's meant to. New Balance is using a full-length Fresh Foam X midsole here with some laser engravings on the lateral side of the shoe, which New Balance says helps soften the landing. Guys, Fresh Foam X is the truth. Oof, it's the truth. This is it. This is the Fresh Foam that I longed for. It's plush. It's somewhat responsive. It's protective. And the best part, it hasn't bottomed out yet. 
If you're looking for a plus shoe that won't make you feel like you're walking on platforms, then this is, this might be, this might be it. Another thing that I originally loved and continued to love in this shoe is the curve upward. I may look like one of Santa's elves wearing this shoe, but I appreciate it when I'm trying to get up in my toes and roll through my stride. It does the job, it doesn't force your foot, it's just subtle enough, and it works. New Balance is using blown rubber throughout the outsole of this shoe and it performs well. However, I am definitely seeing some wear as expected with 100 miles on any shoe. The rubber in the forefoot has smoothed out a good amount, so I'm wondering if it will last me another 100 miles. Because Lord knows I will be running this shoe into the ground. The outsole also features some flex grooves which are actually really appreciated. A lot of high cushion shoes are pretty stiff and rigid and don't allow your foot to kind of flex the way it wants to. But this shoe gives you that high cushion and also allows your foot to flex. <laughs> I need to go to the gym in a more natural way. Even though the blown rubber has worn down over time, I'm still having no problems on the roads. The outsole still grips onto the ground just fine. I'm not sliding around anywhere. So that's all a huge plus. It's just a matter of how long is this outsole really going to last me. So I think it's pretty obvious that I love this shoe and it's one of my go-tos. The upper is dialed in, the cushioning is superb, the outsole is flexible and the shoe is not too heavy. And for that, I'm giving it four and a half stars. I'm knocking it down a half a star for concerns about the outsole and versatility. I don't think the 1080 is really meant to be like the one shoe in your arsenal. If it's the only shoe that you can have, then fine. You could absolutely make it work for all kinds of different workouts and races and what, what have you. But it's really meant to be a daily trainer and it doesn't perform as as well doing tempo runs or races or anything like that and for me to give a shoe five stars it really needs to be a little more versatile but I mean this is hella close to five I think anyone looking for a daily trainer that isn't gonna bog your foot down like cement and has some extra cushion for the push in the pace of course like our good friend Jamie would say, then I think this is a shoe that you should look at and buy and love and adore. So let's throw up this screen with the pros and the cons of the 1080 V10. So for the pros, we have the Hypo Knit Upper and just how dialed in that fit feels. We have the Fresh Foam X Midsole, which is just, I mean, I've already gone on and on about it. You don't need to hear me ramble on much more. We have the Flex Grooves in the outsole and we have that it's decently light for a high cushion shoe. And for cons, we have the outsole wear I'm a little concerned about and versatility. It's really not the most versatile shoe out there. And if you're looking, oh, that's my uh, timer for the Supreme Drop. <laughs> And if you're wondering price about the New Balance 1080 V10, it is $149.95 on runningwarehouse.com. But if you use my code RUNHELLER in all caps, you can get it for 10% off. And we love a deal here. I mean, who doesn't? And with that, that concludes my full review of the New Balance 1080 V10. It's amazing. If you enjoyed this video, please like it down below and subscribe. And if you've done all that, then go hit that notifications bell down below so you can find out every time that I upload a new video. Next week's video is super exciting. It's gonna be my 2019 running shoe of the year. So you do not wanna miss that. It is dropping next week. In the meantime, guys, get out there, get on the grind, and don't forget to run like Heller. I'll see you next time. This hill is called Cordwood. It's one of the hardest hills on Long Island, as you can tell. Oh, help. Oh, hi. I'm still going up this hill. Oh, God.
she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Anybody who's outside definitely thinks I'm crazy. She'll be coming around. Okay, I can't breathe. Dig, 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 dig. <sighs> Got one more coming. How you feel? No matter how many times you run this hill, it never ever gets easier, <laughs> ever. <laughs> Get up here. Look at you go! My calves are so like tight now. Like terribly tight. Yeah, they'll get better. What'd you think of that hill? I mean, it wasn't fun. <laughs> oh, uh, all right, great. Great answer. Let's run together. Run in with you wherever. Weather. Times are good. Back. Happy, sad, 